Can I have some candy though? He's going to get some. Look, he's going to get some candy right now. Look, he's getting candy out of the bucket. I am at the Georgia Aquarium for the exclusive sneak preview event of the Sharks Predators of the Deep expansion here at the aquarium. Super excited to bring you guys here. Again, this is the after hours event. It is 21 and up where they give you guys a wristband here. But I'm going to go show you guys of all ages what this event is about and also the Sharks. A first hand look. Let's go guys. Playing music right over there. They have a bar right here too as well. As you guys can see there. Sharks after dark. Sharks. See the exclamation point after dark. And I'm gonna show you guys all the way around till we get to the new Sharks Predator area. And you guys can see where that is. Look at the scale of that thing right here. <laughs> That's crazy. Just slowly swimming on by. And then a shark just passed by right there. Claiming his territory. We're gonna have some really cool things here like little tombstones in the water. Salty waters, get it? Another one, pearl e whites right there. It's in the water with this giant fish about to pass by me. And above me right here, this thing's playing no games. So, here lies good old Fred. A great big rock fell on his head. Ooh, that's not good, no bueno. Barry D. Bone. I leaned over. <laughs> that one's pretty cool. Guys, usually right here, this is an area where you can watch for divers. So they don't have any right here right now, but look at this thing right here. This thing is massive. And always my favorite view here at the aquarium. It is simply stunning. Especially wait till when the whale shark passes by. Anyone here have a saltwater aquarium at home? Oh, people, all right, so you might be familiar with Instant Ocean. We use the exact same thing, just lots and lots and lots of it. What makes this really amazing with this After Hours event is you can get right up to the glass and just watch all the fish, all the sharks. Uh, hello there. <laughs> Jeez, made a, made a vlog cameo. I appreciate it. And there it is right here. This thing is massive. They also have these six feet, two meters social distancing markers that go across there, along with plexiglass. That, uh, separate where people stand. Sorry, I have to say, this is a really great event. Of course, they give you a drink wristband. Now, this is 21 and up for this after hours event here at the aquarium. But so far, it's really good. And as you guys can see behind me, not many crowds whatsoever. I like this a lot. And I do want to go on record and mention they have plenty of hand sanitizer everywhere and so many other places around here. They're doing a very good job. This is a incredible event. So you have it's gonna be kind of pixelated for you guys, but the shark sign is right there, right when you enter. And then it's super loud because the DJ is doing his thing right there, but he's doing a great job though. Right here in front of me and now behind me, gonna go see the predators of the deep, the sharks themselves. All right, so right here you have predators of the deep. The sharks. And then this right here, these are like LED screens right here that they have all around here that make it look like the tank is right above us in this one. Now the other one that we did see, the tank was above us. You can tell the difference. But man, this looks really beautiful right here. Can't wait for you guys to get out here and see this. Just wow. So as mentioned, this is a 21 and up event. Also, they give you two drink passes that you can get at the bar right here and other places down there as well. Again, look at the LED screens, it's tremendous. And now what we'll need to do is go right down there to see where the actual sharks are. So Jocelyn, how excited are you to visit this attraction? I'm very excited, this is so It's awesome. such a good event, isn't yeah. it, so far? It really is such a good event. So we just need to go right down here and then they have some, I guess, some facts right here about them. So I guess the great hammerhead that they have here, a tiger shark, um, and then, it, like I said, it tells you like the body is strong and barrel shaped, so that's cool. And then the head is narrow and pointed. 
for the sand tiger. Yeah, just all the shark shapes. So they have a touch screen thing right here. And again, yes, hand sanitizer is right here. And she's going to demonstrate this all for you guys. So the silky shark, I like that name, very smooth. You can touch and then drag. And then other sharks and details, the regions of where they're from, located. It'll tell you all that stuff right here. Hand sanitizer is right there, guys. Hand sanitizer is right there. It'll tell you uh, to the human. Did you know you can click that and get some facts? Uh, diet. Ooh, it tells you the whole diet. And then just again, the region and area where they're located, their range, so warm temperature, tropical seas uh, worldwide. And again, a whole scroll thing for you guys to choose which shark you want to uh, look at. So very cool, very cool. Great hammerhead shark. Did you guys know they eat rays and roller skates? Hmm, interesting. And here's the actual first tank right here. Wow, this is really well done. Then the school of fish just right there doing their circle thing with all the sharks around. There's one of the hammerhead sharks right there. And then they do have the social distancing markers that we stand on as we look through the glass. Kinda dark, but they have some more information right here. From fear to fascination, sharks are mindless. No, they have minds. They're very, very intelligent. But different stuff right here that you guys can see with more tanks right there. Oh, another looking board right there that'll tell you the evolution, revolution, and then the tank that we were just standing at right there with the entrance. It says, get mouthy right there. So, who? Look at these teeth right here. This is horrifying to see what a great white mouth looks like. Open wide, it says. Shark's teeth grow in multiple rows at the same time. Insane. Look. So right here is a hammerhead's little teeth. They're razor sharp right there. Baby shark. Oh wow, right in front of the camera. Getting very close now. Now guys, this is 100% real right here. This tank that's going to be over your heads. And then you can also sit right next to the glass and look through the tank. So it appears to be like a 360 tank too. And then like I mentioned above us, as the shark goes by, cause I can see people over there. And then as I was over there, you can see people on the other side. So all these are looking glasses into the tank for people to gaze and just enjoy. Hello there, all the sharks going by. Tons and tons of them though. This one right here looks like he means business. He has so many different varieties here in the tank. They're so, so beautiful. And then as you come around here, keep on walking around, this is a much bigger viewing area for you all to look at the sharks. In here, all across the wall on this side, they have more signs and more facts about all the sharks. And then on your right, they have more of the tanks which is, this one is really, really epic as a shark is about to come right on by. But I love this like, oh wow, you just wanted to come right on in. Well, welcome. But this, I love this giant like rock or tree like thing in the water. But this one is probably my favorite view. This right here is a terrible truth, which is real. Over 100 million sharks are killed each year in our fin just to make some shark fin soup right here, which is super, super sad. And it just says, to meet the global demand for shark soup and increase the value of their harvest, many fishermen engage in the practice of finning. Save the sharks. Ah, so majestically beautiful once again. So more things as you leave the shark predators of the deep area right here, they have some more facts. And as I just showed you, some more screens right here for you guys to check out some more stuff of what you can do. Just how the Georgia Aquarium is making waves. And again, another hand sanitizer station right there. And lastly, sharks are very, very misunderstood. What beautiful creatures. But that is the whole exhibit as we are back out at the main area right here. But we're not done yet. We're gonna take you around and show you some more of the attractions around here. And of course, as mentioned, this is at the Georgia Aquarium. The expansion, the massive expansion, opening up in two days at the time of recording. So make sure you guys come out here and check this out because by the time you might watch this, it'll be up and running for the public to go see it. On to the 
philosophical diver. Let's go right in. I always love this entrance right here. Then you got a like silhouette of a diver right there. Look, little jellies. This area right here behind me is one of my favorites here in the aquarium, period. Because you can stand here for hours and it is just so beautiful. It's very tropical. And then I'm gonna go show you guys a closer look right now at the glass. Here we go, it says six feet social distancing again from here to the next people, and there's glass right there. Here's a better look. You got more fish over here, more tropical fish swimming around in here. And usually like during the daytime, they have some more lights uh, to illuminate the tank. It is phenomenal during the day. During the daytime, it has more light. It might be natural lighting or because this is a after dark event, it's a little darker, but during the day, it is one of my best and favorite areas. That back there is the Pacific Barrier Reef right there. So beautiful. They have like a adult Halloween event here. Masquerade that you guys saw there now. It changed back to where we are right now. Sharks after dark. Which the sign is very beautiful. But October 30th they have that other one. Zips under the sea. Mask array. So make sure you bring your mask with you. Very cool. Under the moonlight. What's next Jocelyn? <laughs> the cold water quest. Let's go right on through there. It looks quite chilly. Woo! Woo! Let's see what's going on in here. Of course, during this pandemic, this is a touch pool right here that is obviously currently closed because, yeah, that wouldn't be great right now. That right there lurking in the back is a Japanese spider crab. Look how close we can get to this one. While a fish is swimming by, be, be careful. If you want to ever know how big a whale is, this is a replica of whale bones that were found at the bottom of the ocean. So it's not real, but it's just a replica. Look at this, all the way down right there to the tail. These things are enormous. That's why these things scare me because you could literally fit right in here. A full adult human being can fit right in here. You don't want to end up like Jonah, do you? The cool thing about the massive starfish that are right here, but they're handing out candy right there. So. <laughs> If you want to stop on by and bother them, you can. But uh, this thing will greet you at the door, or at the tank, rather. Wow. This is... Oh, it's moving. Wow. <laughs> I would not want to bother this thing at all. Can I have some candy, though? He's going to get some. Look, he's going to get some candy right now. Look, he's getting candy out of the bucket. <laughs> Insane. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> she's pushing herself away from the glass because she hit the light and she's trying to sleep. Did you know that sea otters sleep on their back while like floating? I did not know that. I didn't know that either. We learned so much. That one was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> from leaving the penguin area, you'll find yourself at the upper deck of where to look at. The beluga's right there through the glass. Down here too, in the atrium area, you guys can go on a virtual voyage in the virtual voyager right there. It is not open right now for this event, but again, when you come, it will be open. Fun fact here too, you can get married in one of few of the ballrooms here at the aquarium. In fact, fun fact about us, we were considering getting married here at the aquarium. That would have been interesting. Jocelyn, you ready to see some dolphins? Yeah. Let's go see some dolphins. I always love this walkway right here where it has like waves going above your head and some more like screens for you to look at. As I'll show you one closer right here, like a dolphin swimming by. Really cool. And another one there. I like this a lot. It's one of my favorite areas. And here is one of the dolphins right here. Swimming on by. We only see one right now though. It is nighttime right now, almost 10 p.m. So there weren't many of them right now. The one that we did see was very, very beautiful and majestic. So again, this, this room is phenomenal. I love it. Nobody's around either. But yes, it's always good to see the dolphins when we get to see them. So we are now in the River Scout area, which has a different variety of fish that we're going to check out. Very creepy in here, especially at nighttime, in the dark and above our heads. A little alligator floating, minding his own business, sleeping. And this one is moving right there. Look at it. He is moving. This is so cool to see above our head, though. 
<laughs> the camera's making it a lot lighter than what it is. It is dark in here. You can't see anything. It's crazy. They also have like an interactive area projection uh -oh. thing right here on the glass. So that's really cool to see. Dance floor going on over there, but before we head out for the night and call it a night, we're gonna look at the sharks one more time. Georgia Aquarium for the After Hours event and sneak preview of the Sharks Predators of the Deep expansion here at the aquarium. It was really amazing. So had a really great time. I really advise you guys when this is open to the public to come check it out for sure. So with that being said, make sure you guys subscribe, give the video a big thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And until my next video, my next adventure, have a thrilling day guys. So if you enjoyed the video, you can support the channel via Patreon, where we have all new live streams and exclusive content and giveaways that are dedicated to the patrons on the exclusive Miguel the Annual Passholder Patreon page. And also, if you like looking nice, you can support the channel via our merchandise shop at annualpassholder.shop. You can find amazing t-shirts and hoodies such as this one that you guys can purchase for the low. And feel free to hit that subscribe button and turn it from red to gray and like this video if you enjoyed yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you guys so much and have a thrilling day.